hey y'all my name is Vivian and welcome to my channel if you are new so the footage that you're about to see is the week after excuse me the week of my uh, surgery and the days following afterwards okay so I wanted to document that for those who were interested just to give you guys some stats before I get the questions because I know I'm gonna get some questions I'm 37 years old um, I have one child he is five years old I'm married I live in Phoenix Arizona originally from Texas some other stats as far as my body I am 5'4 standing at 168 the most I've ever weighed was 192 I was 174 going into the surgery so I have lost that weight in a week right but I am intermittent fasting which I'll discuss that later on in, in the vlog um, I was a 38 triple D sometimes double E depending on the brand I am now a C full C small D I am very very happy with my results um, some of the reasons why I had to have surgery the number one reason was back pain I'm gonna have a separate video on how I was able to get approved of my insurance because it has been a battle I've been doing this for working on it for three years so look out for that video and also in that video I will be going over some things that I purchased some expectations the good the bad the ugly so I hope you guys enjoy take care bye so this is my setup I'm sleeping first of all our bed is pretty high I'm right here and the bed is right here to me so I have a pillow for my feet <clears throat> I have two pillows for the side of my arms I have three pillows back here and these pillows one of those pillows is brand new so they're pretty thick oh, wow. I have a step stool that my child is currently on tired next to my bed I have my essential oil diffuser I'm diffusing frankincense lavender uh, eucalyptus and thrive I have some Jolly Ranchers I have my medication I have some books I have some water I have some oh, snacks <laughs> This is what I've been wearing most of the day. I'm not going anywhere, so I have a silk open roll. I'm not going to show you guys everything. They gave me some, um, <laughs> I'm serving you. I'm serving you midnight geisha teas, girl. Um, I, I kind of peeked through. Here's the cotton here. And they gave me like some crossbow halter top <laughs> thing going on. You know, I don't feel good. I don't like this is what so yeah that is it I'm not gonna be one of those and I do res I do appreciate women that show everything the incisions I'm not doing that <laughs> so there are men who watches those videos I know there are so yeah I'm not doing that I respect I, I appreciate the women who do but we ain't gonna do that the coloring's gonna be off because it's very early in the morning here and yeah I need to turn the ceiling fan on I'm getting hot um it's the next day throat's kind of sore and yeah, my breasts are very, very swollen, extremely swollen. Um, I didn't peel off the paper around my nip my nipple area. I'm just still a little afraid. I'm gonna keep it on there for another day or so. Um, besides that, I feel good. I took half a Percocet last night, and um, yeah, my fever broke yesterday, two hours after taking the Tylenol, but I still had the chills um, at night, and. That's normal for me. I had the chills after I had my C-section. And yeah, it is what it is. So I feel good this morning. Um, I will probably have my husband take me to Walmart to pick up some sports bras because the surgical bras are way too tight. I have on a wireless bra right now. I just have a couple of wireless bras from when I was nursing my child, but they're way too big. Girl, they're like 40E. These are way too big. Um, yeah, my breasts feel really swollen and my expectations I have very low expectations of what they're gonna look like. I know that it's gonna take a couple of weeks for them to drop and to actually look like something. So I'm not concerned about that, okay. Um, my back pain is like 100% gone. Oh, it's amazing. Okay, it is day four post-op. <clears throat> I feel like I'm wearing the same thing. I am wearing the same thing. I'm going in between, first thing in the morning I put on this robe, but in the middle of the day, I have some other open shirts that I wear. Um, I feel good last night I I slept great um, and I have a small child and sometimes it's not great because the night before was horrible um, he would not go to sleep and so he kept waking up up until 10 o'clock and I was tired and I know that he misses me and he want he, he misses cuddling with me and my child hasn't been able to cuddle with me poor thing so I know he misses that physical interaction I try to give him as many kisses and you know patting hugs as far as way but 
as at nighttime, that's when we typically cuddle. So he misses that. So he had a hard time. So last night I allowed him to sit and lay in bed with me and he fell asleep next to me. Um, so we slept good. I slept like 10 hours. Um, today, or well, let me back up. Yesterday was the first day where I could shower. But girl, no. I did a little bird bath the day after my surgery. If you don't feel comfortable doing that, don't do that. But um, actually, yesterday was the first day where I could take everything off. And I think I told you guys, I had a little problem with the gauze on one nipple. So let me tell you what happened. When I was, the right breast was great, but the left breast I had issue with, um, which makes sense because my left breast is bigger. So he probably had to take out more tissue. So with the left breast, when I was lifting up the gauze, it was sticking to my breast and blood was seeping through. And I was like, oh, I, so I called the on-call surgeon who asked me, well, what color tape is, well, what color gauze is over your breast? And I told him it was yellow. So he said, okay, with that type of gauze, you have to wet it before and then lift it up. So I was like, okay. And I still didn't feel comfortable doing that. So I just left it alone, applied more gauze, clean gauze, excuse me. And um, I'm using maxi pads because maxi pads are perfect because it goes right up underneath your breasts and taped everything up. And then I had my husband to help me with the ACE bandages. I just didn't feel comfortable, even though the surgeon said, you know, to wet it and then lift it up. I just didn't feel comfortable at that time. Again, this was yesterday. Today, this morning, I looked at it and I thought, okay, it's not bleeding as much. I think I can go ahead. So I took my time, took all the tape off, took the gauze off. Um, I took my time, like I said, to wet the left nipple area and slowly removed. My breasts look fabulous, y'all. They are sitting up high, like I'm skipping third grade period to meet Jimmy behind the bleachers. That's how, <laughs> that's how good they look. They are swollen still, but the swelling has gone down by about 25%, I should say. Um, they are a full CD, and that's exactly, <coughs> still coughing that's exactly what i wanted full cd um but i don't need a bra at least right now i do not need to do you know how great that is look i'm the type of person where i i have to wear a bra just to go check the mail because i'm gonna scare, scare the neighbors i mean i don't need a bra and i know he didn't do a lift i know he didn't do a lift but they're sitting up great um I, sensations of everything looks it feels great nothing feels out of order now my left breast is not healing as fast as my right and like I said the left breast is bigger it was bigger excuse me so I noticed up underneath where the t-section is at that there's some bleeding going on there and the nipple itself is not healing as fast as my the right she's good the right breast she, she's doing good so so now the downsides Physically, I'm limited. I'm sitting on my couch and I am eating. So, Sister Woman is gaining weight. Um, <clears throat> even though they've removed 1.5 pounds from each breast, and yes, there is some swelling, I have gained four pounds. And I do feel bloated, but I am also eating. And I think there's a little bit of emotional eating in there because I'm nervous. Um, so, I'm going to start intermittent fasting today. Um, I only needed to take Percocet multiple times the first two days but the next day half a percocet yesterday i took half a percocet at night that is it i really haven't had the need to take much pain medication so so i wanted to come back on cam and show those of you who are interested in the type of bra i got girl i still got the hanger um it is the danskin now 2x <coughs> zip front seamless sports bra this is what it looks like and i purchased this from my local walmart just give me a second let me close the refrigerator it has padding which i had to cut out because i don't i don't need padding not right now girl so still day four but um i'm dealing with some because not only are you dealing with physical changes but it's kind of toying with me mentally i want i don't want to say toying with me but small breasts this is the first time <laughs> the first time I've had small breasts since I was 11 years old so I'm looking down and I can actually see my belly and my toes with my breasts 
that's messing with well, me. I like, still look curvy. I don't think that I look as curvy. I know we're still four days in, but this is, you know, and I'm looking in a mirror and I look extremely square. So I text one of my friends who had a breast reduction just two years ago. And I'm like, please tell me I'm not going to look like a wrestler for the rest of my life. And she responded back laughing. She said, it is perfectly normal to look this way the first couple of weeks. Cause you're, you just had surgery girl. Um, but she said, you're going to look fabulous. Give it time. You're going to look good. So it is day six. Again, excuse the coloring because it's like 5.30 in the morning here. Um, I didn't come on yesterday because I didn't feel like it. I, it is driving me crazy staying in the house. I was trying to find stuff to do. I mean, my son is here with me too, so. Um, just feeling a little bit of depression, you know. I wasn't expecting the roller coaster of emotions, you know, nervousness, excitement, uncertainty, and then just feeling sad. Um, yeah. <laughs> so this morning I got up, and that was all yesterday, so I was like, I'm, I'm not gonna get on cam. So this morning I got up and I looked at my planner and I, went on my Facebook and just getting stuff together because I just feel like, I don't know how to explain it, I just feel blah, you know what I mean? I just don't, I don't feel myself. I have no pain, I have soreness, yes, but my pain stopped at the second day. It wasn't even pain, it was soreness. So right now there's soreness up underneath my breasts, but I'm not feeling any pain that, you know, some women have reported, you know. One other thing about my breasts is that I took the ace bandage that I went home in, that's what they wrapped me up in after my surgery, and I took it and I cleaned it because it provides support along my chest and right up underneath my breasts. And that's what I wear to bed, and that's what I have on now, actually. That's what I wear to bed. So it was a little bloody. And what I had to do was soak it in hydrogen peroxide, baking soda, and just duck in cold water a few times. And then I placed it in a pillowcase and put it in the dryer to dry. And now I can reuse it. And so that's what I've been using um, to wrap myself up in at night. Last night I slept kind of, sleeping was kind of a little bit rough. I had to go from three pillows to two. I found that, you know, sitting up on three pillows wasn't that great. Um, my breasts are not as hard anymore because when I'm walking now, I can feel them jiggling. I'm like, oh, they're jiggling. So they're not as hard and the swelling has gone down. Now, yesterday, um, I was feeling my breasts and I was like, I can't feel this part. It was making me feel uneasy. But this morning when I was feeling, it was around the areola that, okay, I do have some sensation there. You know, it's just my nerves are taking, it's taking some time to heal. It's only been six days. So I'm really, really excited to see how my body's going to look in a couple of more weeks. So I will probably come back after my post-op um, appointment. And then my goal then would be to come back in a month. And we'll shall see how things turn out then. All right, y'all? I'm in my guest bedroom, girl. So we have made it to a week. Yay! Now look, y'all, I just realized that I did not have any of the footage of the day after my surgery, and that was the good part. So let me give you guys a recap of what has happened and what my symptoms have been. So let me just say this. Overall, this has been a very easy going surgery. Now I know everyone's different, every woman is different, so you're gonna react differently. I also think that it I also think that it depends on your mindset too and how you are approaching the situation. Um, I've been very positive but also optimistic, okay? So I was okay with whatever was gonna happen. Um, and I think that really does affect you mentally and it affects you uh, physically, excuse me. I'm all tongue tied, girl. Um, so yeah, overall pretty good. Now let me tell you this. This will be my fourth surgery. Unfortunately, I've had to have two operations where I've had a very cyst removed. Um, and then I had a C-section five years ago. So I already had that, you know, though 
those uh, experiences to pull from. So I wasn't nervous to go into the hospital. I wasn't nervous to have the anesthesia. For me. So since I didn't have that footage of my day afterwards, I'm gonna go over the symptoms I've had the entire week. I have had little to no pain, like little zits of pain or zaps of pain. Yes, but on a scale of one to 10, it's been like a three for me. Not, not bad at all. I have not had a need to take a whole Percocet in five days. For the two first two days, I took Percocet like every twice a day basically. And then after that, as needed. Sometimes half a Percocet, maybe not. Um, the day afterward, I, afterwards, I was running a low grade fever. Um, it was running at 100 and I took some Tylenol and that broke. I did have the chills that night, which is I've had before, especially when I had my C-section, I had the chills. And um, the next day I was a little concerned about my left nipple. You guys heard me earlier. I felt like it was bleeding a little heavy. So I did call the on-call surgeon who advised me how to re safely remove the gauze. And after that, it's been, it's been good. I have no complaints. The only thing I do notice is that where they did the lipo on the side of my breast, they had to do lipo because my breasts are wide. Okay, well they were wide, so they had to do some lipo on the side. Is that that's still a little tender and a little sore, okay? Um, and if I do too much the day before, I'm definitely feeling it the next day. Like yesterday I did quite a bit, and now today I'm feeling it. So rest up, don't overwork yourself. So I have my post-op appointment later on today and I'll let y'all know how that goes once I get back but yeah I have had no complaints I am I feel so blessed to be able to say that you know because I've heard some stories from other women but I've been pretty good so yeah um I will come back on cam once we get back from the appointment okay So my post-op appointment went really well um, and he basically told me to, to continue what I'm doing. Everything looked good. Um, the nurse took out some stitches around the nipple and I have an appointment next Thursday to take out the stitching up underneath here. I've been driving now. Please consult your doctor. Do not listen to me. For me personally, I was good to drive um, three days ago. Uh, most of them tell you at least a week, sometimes longer. So let me show you how I've been driving just to be cautious. I have my child's old baby blanket and I've been putting this right here along my chest. <laughs> and then, let me see, I can put this camera down. Let me... <coughs> Allergies, coughing. Hey, we are going to go. I know, baby. So I put it like this. I know some people use donuts or even the nursing. Donuts. The nursing donuts. Yeah, I used to have one of those. But this is what works for me. Um, it's very soft. Some people put a little donut right there. It's just the extra caution because they're rubbing. So um, I have been driving, like I said, for the past three days. Now, I can't do a lot. Normally I would do a bunch of a bunch of errands and stuff. I cannot do that because I'm too tired. Excuse the background. So we're just gonna go to Staples and then to the Goodwill. Maybe I even go to the Goodwill depending on my mood because I I gotta get gas too. So yeah, one or two errands. That's it. And then I have to come straight home. And everything is within closest. I'm not driving. I'm not driving more than ten miles for a couple of weeks just to be safe. Okay. So I'm going to end this video trying on some clothes so you guys can see the difference, okay? I am definitely a medium now in shirts. I mean, I'm drowning in my shirts now. I'm not wearing a bra. I'm not wearing a bra right now. Yeah, we're going to get it together so I... I didn't know it was going to 